The City adopts a budget each year that reflects the City Council's goals and the ongoing commitment to provide efficient and essential services to our residents and businesses. By continuing to invest in the community, while at the same time practicing good financial stewardship, the City will continue to provide an exceptional quality of life, outstanding services, and will remain a destination for both residents and businesses. The budget totals $246.8 million, an increase of $2.5 million, or 1%. The total budget incorporates not only the cost to operate city services, police, fire, and public works, for example, but also includes investments in roads and facilities. The general fund budget totals $105.3 million, a decrease of 0.1%. Funds are budgeted for contractual wage adjustments and new training initiatives for city employees, an increase in long-term retirement liabilities and debt service on new facilities. Over 60% of the general fund budget is dependent upon property taxes. Of the total, businesses pay approximately 30% of the tax bill while city residents pay the remaining 70%. The city's diversified tax base and economic development efforts also help to lower taxes for residential property owners. Residential properties in the city experienced a 6.7% increase in market value this past year, but only a 2.4% increase in taxable value. Homeowners will see a reduction in the city tax rate as the promised rollback will decrease the city operating millage by one mill. A family living in a typical home will pay $102 per month in city property tax. Nearly 60% of a homeowner's city tax bill funds public safety and public works. Residents pay less than $10 a month for the public library, parks and recreation, and senior citizen services. Sterling Heights homeowners continue to receive an excellent value for their tax dollar. The city will continue to offer low residential water and sewer rates. This year's rate increase of 3.3% or $3 per month will be the lowest increase in 11 years. The average household will pay only $80 per month for all water and sewer services. The budget funds significant investment in roads and infrastructure. Nearly $17 million will be invested in road construction next year. Improvements will be seen on 18 Mile, Hayes Road, Metro Parkway, Utica Road, 19 Mile, and Merrill Road, and preliminary engineering will begin on the complete reconstruction of Mound Road. Thanks to revenue generated from the Safe Streets millage, over $7 million will be invested in neighborhood roads, including both sectional repairs and the full reconstruction of over 30 local streets. Other significant projects funded in the proposed budget include the construction of a brand new building for the Department of Public Works, upgrades to City Hall entrances and to the exterior of the library and the police department, the construction of the community center and enhancements to Delia Park funded through the Recreating Recreation Millage, the second phase of a $20 million investment to upgrade infrastructure and technology throughout all five buildings on the city center main campus, and replacement vehicles, equipment, and technology upgrades to ensure an effective and safe working environment for city employees. In conclusion, the budget demonstrates that the city continues to provide efficient city services at a low cost. This year's budget continues investment in road repair and facilities infrastructure and reflects the city's long-standing tradition of excellence by investing in neighborhoods and public safety, effective property maintenance initiatives, diversified economic development efforts, and a variety of community-oriented services. The budget reflects what this community strives to be, a safe, vibrant, and welcoming place to live and work.